this is such a great deal. $14.99 for a king size blanket. We have a little bit hard water and this really helps with it. There's so, so many great gift ideas, but such an easy dinner after I have been getting things and shopping all day. And they're already vacuum packed which is so convenient. Hey there friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we are getting back on track with something that I was very faithful in last year and then through the summer kind of got out of the rhythm of doing it and that is once a month grocery shopping. And I kind of have a few exceptions. We can talk about that later on in this video by making myself up a cup of coffee to go with me and we are gonna head to Costco. Now we don't live near a Costco at all, um, so we do have to do a little bit of driving to go do that, but fortunately the Costco I do go to is very near an Aldi and a giant food store as well. And if you don't know what giant food store is, um, I would say it's a pretty run of the mill, large chain grocery store. But one thing I like about it is sometimes when I can't find specialty items like gluten-free pasta, or something like that at Costco or Aldi, I'm able to find it at Giant. So it's kind of my last stop, my backup for certain things that we really like to use in our cooking, just because we do have a couple dietary um, special things in our household. It's not our whole household, so I still do lots of recipes and cooking with flour, um, but then there's some of us that do better with a little less wheat in our diet. So all of that to say, um, I'm excited. It feels a bit overwhelming. I know that till I go again next month, I'm gonna be a bit more in the swing of things and I may end up having to stop again <laughs> through this next month just because I'm not in the rotation. And once you kind of get on the ball with it, I have lots of videos about this and I've broke it down in actually, I believe two different videos of how I make a list and sort of my process. Um, but today is going to be more focused on the shopping portion and the haul, of course, at the end and all of those things. And we are creeping up on holiday season. So I know there's going to be a lot of fun things at Costco that I did not see um, a few months ago the last time I was there. So let's go ahead and hit the road and head to Costco and start our shopping. First thing I'm noticing as we're inside the door here is all of these gloves that are on sale. They are really cool. You can touch your phone with them. And they even have some kids options over here that look really neat. I'm kind of contemplating getting some of these for my daughters. I'm not sure how warm they would be, um, but you can use a touch screen with them. They feel like they would be pretty warm. I don't think they're water resistant, which usually that's the type of glove I like to get for them. Um, but still a super good deal if you have a need for them. This is such a great deal. $14.99 for a king size blanket and it's so soft. They even have like a tan cream color that is an excellent deal for a king size blanket. And then they have the same thing in a queen that is $12.99. So super good deals for very warm, cozy blankets. We're gonna take a break from our shopping trip today to talk about My Loot. They are the sponsor of this week's video and they are a great way to earn cash back and put cash back into your pocket whenever you do your shopping. What I like about My Loot is it's really simple to use. You just sign up, browse over 7,000 stores, make your purchase, and start earning your cash back. You can earn back on things like groceries and clothing, things you're already going to be shopping for. Here's a quick look at My Loot platform. It's super intuitive, just a few clicks and you're ready to start earning cash back. I was so excited to see so many different brands that I already purchased from and I'm very used to and trust. The platform is simple and gives you all the information you need to know and how much cash back you can earn from your favorite places. You can even earn cash back from restaurants, food delivery, coffee and tea, 
gas and convenience, and so much more. There's something for everyone on my loot platform. Just like other cashback platforms I've used in the past, I am able to earn my cash back by doing shopping in my everyday life. If you haven't tried my loot out before, today is a perfect time because we are getting closer to the holiday season and it'll be a great way to save during your holiday shopping. So you can check out the link in the description box below to start saving instantly on your next shopping trip. You won't want to miss out. It's actually a suitcase. Do you think that would be fun to fly and see Grammy in Florida with yeah. a Lego suitcase and it has a little bag with it? And it has like a thing that you can walk with. I see that. Let's go, look Let's go around on this side. We have a few sets, Lego sets. In case you guys didn't know, we're a big Lego fan family. We're hoping to go to Legoland this winter. Oh, that's cool, girls. Bed and breakfast, oh my word. It's like a little hotel, like a little bed and breakfast. What, oh, that's the back of it? Literally, mom. Cool, I like the back of it. We actually need some new toothbrushes and this is a really good deal for Oral-B. It is $15.99 originally. It's marked down to $9.99, which makes them around a dollar since there's eight in here. So I'm gonna snag these up while I'm here. I personally do not use Tide, but if you do, it is a really great deal right now. Uh, $4 off of the liquid, and then the pods has $5.40 off. So super great deal on laundry soap. This is what I've been using lately. That is the Arm & Hammer, and it's a great price here because it's a really big jug of it. Plus it has OxyClean in it, which I love. So we got 200 loads for $14.89. This is something that I count as kind of a luxury in our house. It just keeps our clothes smelling good and it keeps the stains out of them. And yes, it is a little pricey, but if I get it here, it at least helps with the cost. Um, I just about can't stand washing my clothes without this we have hard, a little bit hard water and this really helps with it i've said it before and i'll say it again i really like costco's trash bags every time i have to buy another brand and spend the money on them i cringe just a little bit because these are such a good deal i think this is a new item or i should say i have never noticed it before um, but i think it's such a cool packaging it's these different pastas and they each have a window to let you see inside. And it says that they are 100% Italian grain. So pretty good stuff, they're organic as well. I like to keep pepperonis in our freezer and honestly, we haven't had some in there for a while. This is a really good deal. I don't know if you can see, but it is two pounds of pepperonis for $9.99. Great deal and I can throw them all in the freezer. I can even put them in smaller freezer bags and they last a long time at least a year um, in the freezer okay you guys know that i am all about kinders seasonings and they don't have the buttery steakhouse seasoning which is the one i really wanted today but they do have this one and i haven't tried this before so we're gonna grab a bottle of this i think that they are right around five dollars and then they also have an all-purpose seasoning which i think i'm gonna give a try as well so they're all on sale right now though. One of my goals for this upcoming month is to make more hummus. And so I wanted to grab some crackers today and they have this one that looks really good. I'm honestly, I want to be able to taste these because I feel like we would probably eat, take two boxes if we like them, but they're a pimento cheese flavor. These are actually also gluten-free, which makes me pretty happy. So I'm gonna get one box of these for now. If we like them, I can get more next month. And then I'm also gonna get one box of the multi-grain um, just to use in hummus or with some cheese in some lunches for our homeschool field trips and things like that. I think they would be really helpful. We have a little collision of the seasons here, but I had to mention these massive mums. They are just beautiful. They have quite a variety of colors and but they're just huge like <laughs> so so big $16.99 great price and then this um 
Christmas tree is so full and beautiful. I love it. Sometimes whenever it's an artificial tree, you've got gapping and all of that, but this one is really, really nice. And of course, behind it, we have all of the fun Christmassy stuff that my daughters are having a blast looking at. They love this teddy bear. <laughs> we are not yard decorating people, but we enjoy looking at it for sure. I'm not gonna get too detailed in digging through the clothing section just because I plan to look at that more next month, but I did wanna mention that my husband needed some joggers, and so I was able to find this really nice pair for $14.99, which I thought was a great deal. They are the Puma brand, and they sort of have like this thermal strip down the side of them and they have pockets. So $14.99 is a great deal for a very nice pair of joggers for sure. Like that gift set, Evie? Yeah, it's so cute. There's so, so many great gift ideas here. And this one's really cute. It's got all the highlighters, if you like the midliners, and a little journal in there. Really, really cool. There's just so many different gifting sets and things, almost too much to film at all <laughs> but just take my word for it great oh here is we are a game household and this one's really cool it's like a six card game set so there's uno phase 10 we got uno house rules dos and uno 99 and all wild uno this one sounds fun we want to get that sometime but it is 19.99 these have me very intrigued they are sweet potato sticks. They're just sweet potatoes. They feel soft. I thought maybe they were crunchy at first. There you can see the only ingredient is organic sweet potatoes. I'm gonna get a bag of these and I think when we get back to the house, we're gonna try these together and I'll give you my opinion. <laughs> they're just really interesting. Um, it says once you open the pack, or I guess they're in individual packs, but once you open an individual pack, you need to consume it as quickly as possible or as soon as possible. Um, so we'll see what these guys taste like. So funny thing is the last time I stocked up on batteries, they were also on sale. So super great deal, big packs of batteries. They have both the double, I mean, sorry, the triple A and then also the double A. And I hate being without batteries because you always go to use something and then you need the batteries and it's an extra trip to the store just to get batteries. So I'm going to grab a pack of each of these while we're here. I normally get the Redmond's Real Salt um, and I can get it in big bags from Azure Standard, but I'm running low on my salt and I do usually like to know where it's sourced from. I'm not sure where Kirkland's brand is sourced from but we're gonna grab some while we're here. It's, whoa, <laughs> it's a really, really good price. $6.39 for, let's see, five pounds. Great, great deal. Okay, so I came back through this aisle because I need some, I'm on the hunt for vanilla, and I happened to spot this one box of the Buttery Steakhouse. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab two of these as well while I'm here. They're just bigger containers of it and we use it on everything as you guys well know if you watch my cooking videos and meal preps. So $6.99 for a nice big container. And if you've been with me before when I shop Costco, this is one of the biggest reasons that I come here is the paper towels and then over here is their toilet paper. It lasts us forever. Um, we really like the quality and the price. I am actually gonna grab a pack of these Baby Bell mushrooms. They're a nice big pack. They are 24 ounces for $4.39. I wanna start making some packs up that are basically like the inside of an omelet. Put it in the freezer and then all I have to do is add it into the eggs in my frying pan. So I'm gonna chop these up and use them for um, that purpose, like to mix in with onions and peppers and maybe some sausage. All right, so these are three pounds of grapes for $5.89. Super good deal, and the girls have been on a major grape kick lately, so I'm going to grab a box of these. So I just realized that the red grapes are the same exact price, and the girls just made a request that I get red instead of green this time, so we are gonna go ahead and do that, but 
so good. They're in such great shape. I know they're gonna hang out in the refrigerator for a while and still be in good condition. So we always get these street tacos for dinner whenever I do a Costco run. And my husband even texted me on the way here and said emphasis on don't forget the street tacos. <laughs> so we're gonna grab them. You can either put these in the air fryer or in the frying pan to reheat them. Perfect. And the cilantro lime crema is so, so good. But such an easy dinner after I have been getting things and shopping all day. So we all love this guacamole in the house and it's something that is not easy to just grab the ingredients or have the ingredients always on hand to make it. So since it comes in individual packages, I like to get it and it lasts a really long time in the refrigerator as well. I don't know how egg prices are where you're at and I'm going to the wrong side of this, but $5.99 for two dozen organic eggs is a very, very good deal where we're at and um, they're also really good. I've gotten them for a long time. We really enjoy these eggs. All right, so there's a couple of things here at Aldi I need to grab that I did not find at Costco. I looked at Costco to get the tortilla chips that are made with avocado oil just because I don't like getting these because they're usually made with vegetable oil but they didn't have them at Costco and then they just had Tostitos which are made with the same type of oils these are. So I'm going for second best, but on the plus side, they are only $1.95 right now. And we eat, go through these very quickly because I make salsa in the summertime. So that is one of our go-to snacks besides homemade popcorn. Their non-fat Greek yogurt is also a really good price here and it's really good. Um, it's nice and creamy. I even use it as a replacement for, uh, I almost said whipped cream, for sour cream sometimes as well. And then the girls saw these little oranges and wanted a bag, so we grabbed a bag of them. I think they're $3 right now. I like getting heavy cream here if I'm not going to get an organic kind. Sometimes I get organic when it is in the budget. And so I'm going to grab that. And then I'm also going to get what we actually came here for, one of the biggest things we came here for. And that is their almond milk. It's our absolute favorite almond milk. We love the flavor of it. And we go through right now about a carton a week. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab four cartons and put them in the cart. But I also noticed that they are lowered a little bit to 25. That is a great, great, great price for almond milk. And if you want a little tip, they are just really good. We like it better than any of the big brand name almond milks. And we always get the unsweetened original. All right, so we are back. We've got everything unloaded. I have the paper towels and the toilet plate paper and the laundry soap and OxyClean sitting back there ready to go in the laundry room storage area. And while I'm chatting with you guys, I'm actually going to start preparing the street tacos. Everything in here is ready to go except the chicken. You could eat it cold, truthfully, but we like to have it warm, so I'm just putting a little bit of um, avocado oil in the bottom of my cast iron skillet back here. I'm gonna just open this up. There's actually, in case you're unfamiliar with Costco or like um, are debating on trying out Costco or something, um, there's actually a lot of like prepared foods or partially prepared foods for you there. So there is like sandwiches and other types of pasta dishes that you can bake in the oven. Um, things like Alfredo and lasagna. Sorry, it's been a really long day. I'm trying to think. <laughs> um, but those sorts of things are there and then you can just take them home and finish preparing them. So almost like they did the meal prepping for you. Um, you can just pop them in your oven. So all I'm gonna do, I have a spoon here and I'm going to scoop the chicken onto the frying pan off of the end of here. And like I said, you can also do this in the air fryer as well if you prefer to heat it up that way. Everything else on this tray is cold and should stay cold. Um, so you don't wanna just warm up the entire tray of things. 
but oh this is so good this chicken is absolutely delicious like I said it's become pretty much the norm whenever I do a Costco trip okay so I did want to try these sweet potato sticks they just are very fascinating to me because they seem really healthy there's only one ingredient and it is sweet potatoes so we're gonna give that a try most everything I think you all saw in store I did get a pack of butter this is kind of unusual for me I generally go for their grass-fed butter but I'm gonna be honest it's been a couple of months since I've been um, to Costco and their grass-fed butter price has gone up um, at my Costco anyways so I just decided to go ahead and get the regular salted butter that is about half the price of the grass-fed butter and um, so I was just trying to be a little more budget friendly. Oh, these are cute. They're like in a little pack like this. I don't know how many came in this. Six, there's six packs in this. I just, <laughs> I don't know, because I don't even think there's salt. There's not salt on these either. So no fat, no salt, just sweet potato. And the brand is the Snack Yard, organic sweet potato. We're gonna rip it open, have a little tear spot. And I'm so curious. Oh wow, not what I expected. Oh, these are so interesting. So they're dried. They remind me a little bit of like dried fruit in the sense of like mango or something that's gonna be chewy. That's why there's not salt. I think it's because they're leaning into the sweet side of sweet potatoes. Um, they're also not like just regular cooked sweet potatoes. That's kind of what I thought they were gonna be like, just like sweet potatoes that have been cooked, but these are very chewy. So we're gonna give it a try. These are so good. <laughs> these are delicious. I'm so curious. I'm gonna call my daughters who are upstairs right now. Once I get some more of this put away, I'm gonna call them down here and have them try these. I'm so curious to hear their reaction to them, but very much like a dried mango or something like that. Chewy and sweet. <laughs> also, my verdict is I do like them. I definitely do. I will be eating these. Oh yeah, it just says just 100% sweet potato. Interesting, no sugar added, just sweet potato. I have no idea how they make them like that. Obviously some sort of a drying process to make them like this so interesting and so yummy all right I'm gonna pick a couple things out that I don't think I showed in store so you all know we have a great love for cucumbers in our house and they had these tiny baby ones so I grabbed some of those I also got a pack of the rice ramen noodles this is something that we get fairly often they're a really good price they're like eight bucks for 12 blocks of rice ramen so they're gluten-free we use my homemade chicken broth to make it up Super simple and very inexpensive and very, very yummy. Um, I also got this entire box, I think there's six cartons in here, of cage-free egg whites. I have been wanting to do more egg white omelets. Um, I was talking about doing like up veggies for omelets. And these are already separated for me and they're cage-free, easy peasy, really easy to make a healthy breakfast for myself. I think most everything else you all saw. Oh, I did get their dishwasher pods. I actually don't mind them at all. We've gotten them before, so I'm going to be using those this month and probably the next. This is a pretty big box. It's 115 packs, so essentially 115 loads. So that should last us quite a while. Um, and then I didn't know if I was going to find the vanilla i've been out of vanilla i ran out of my azure vanilla a little while ago been picking up little bottles of it here and there and it's so expensive to buy pure vanilla in the small bottles you are going to always get a better price with a big bottle of vanilla so i just grabbed two of these and um they were i think they were I want to say they were $9.99, which I think is a really good price for this size. And it is a pure extract, which is great. I do have some of my own in my cellar that I'm working on. Um, I made them like, I think it was about 10 months ago, something like that. I think we made them in a video. 
and I learned definitely I want my vanilla to sit for over a year just to get that really strong vanilla flavor and I also put a bit more vanilla pods in it than what most recipes call for. So, oh, the other thing too that I picked up, sorry if I sound a little tired, y'all. It has been a long day <laughs> when you have to drive far um, over an hour to go somewhere. It just feels so long, especially when you're making it a one, a very quick trip. And that's what we did today. So I have it in these bags. I hate even pulling them out of the bags. I have a thing with like wanting to be really clean about meat and chicken, but I got two, there's another one here. I got two of these three packs of organic chicken breast. And um, so uh, these are really great. I've gotten chicken breast at Costco for long, many years and they're already vacuum packed, which is so convenient because all I have to do is cut these packs apart and I'm able to throw them into the freezer. I almost said dishwasher, y'all. <laughs> I are able to throw them in the freezer. They're already in portion, nice portion sizes. And in case you are curious, they are $5.99 a pound right now. Um, and I actually want to do a bit more researching on what is the current best price for organic chicken breasts. You guys can let me know in the comments if you purchase it a lot. We eat mostly beef, but we do like chicken for certain recipes and things like that. And that's another thing I wanted to talk about with all of this because obviously this does not look like a month's worth of groceries but if you watch my channel a lot then you know that i do a lot of food preservation we have freezers in our basement that hold a lot of our food as well and so for example we just recently got half of a beef done um, we also got a pig a pork some pork done a couple of months ago. We still have that in the freezer. Um, and we have bacon that we buy in bulk in the freezer. We have a lot of frozen veggies as well. And just odds and ends. There's a lot in my food storage. Plus I do a lot of home canning and things like that and drying. And I actually do have a freeze dryer. Um, so I have a lot of things on hand that I bought in bulk in the past. Most all of my dry goods I buy in 50 pound bags, things like um, rolled oats and cane sugar and um, flowers and things like that. So most of that stuff I have on hand. So, you know, you throw some fresh veggies in and you throw in some fresh fruit and you throw in some eggs and milk and um, some things like that and you've got it all figured out. Now I do not have any cheese in this haul. A lot of times I get cheese, especially at Costco. I like to get cheese there. And that's because it wasn't that long ago I went to Aldi and stocked up on a lot of cheese. So I still have a lot of cheese in the refrigerator. And then last week I also did pick up a okay amount of some produce and I still have some like broccoli and things like that in the refrigerator, so I didn't want to overkill on that. So I'm really, really happy with the things I found, like the batteries being on sale, the toothbrushes being on sale, um, also our spices we really enjoy being on sale. There was just some different things that I was happy that I scored, that I knew we needed, or coming up on needing, and I was able to get them at a really discounted price. Okay. So I'm gonna put stuff away and then we will build these tacos together and I do want my daughters to come taste these and you can hear their responses to these and I can show them a little closer, but they are so good. I am excited. I think these are gonna be mama's little treat because they are so healthy and just delicious. All right, Corey is here building his tacos. So he puts the chicken in and it is kind of like grilled already, the black, uh, grilled parts are already on the chicken whenever it comes and then there's like a cabbage salad I don't know is that what you would call it <laughs> shredded cabbage to go on it yeah <laughs> and then there's like some shredded cheese with it all and um, also some lime you can squeeze over the top whenever it's done there's some salsa and that crema. I think that's the part that actually makes it the best, makes it good. Do you think you'd like it if I made salsa like that sometime or you like the chunky salsa? Be like? I like this. 
You like the runny, the more smooth salsa? I should try that sometime. Okay, so these are dried sweet potatoes. I don't know if you guys will like them, but I want you to try them. So they're not gonna taste like a potato. They're not salty, they're sweet. They're like a dried fruit. <laughs> Does that sound funny? All right, give them, get one out. We should all try to taste them at the same time. Okay, just wait. Yeah, don't bite it, don't bite it. <laughs> All right, Evie. Are you scared? Don't try it yet. She wants to. Oh wait, here. There's two. It's like the it's like the sweet part of the potato set, came go. out. Go. I think they're really good. I actually look really really. I don't good. care for it. You I don't, don't care for it? I don't know. I don't really care for it. You don't really care for it? You wouldn't eat it as a snack? Maybe. Would. Maybe you would. What do you think, Kalia? I love it. You love it, really? <laughs> I do too. I think yeah, the texture is nice, and all. Not good, but it is good. There's no other ingredients. It's I mean, just a sweet I'll potato. Eat it sometimes. You would maybe eat it sometimes. If they're really sweet, aren't they? I didn't think they would be as sweet as they were. Yeah, I'll eat the rest of yours. <laughs> so should I get them again, Kai, just for me and you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. Everybody's had supper. We are all fed and happy, <laughs> and there's. A lot of stuff that's been put away, taken down to the cellar, put into our second uh, refrigerator that's down there. And it definitely, thinking about doing the once a month grocery shopping again, it takes a lot of planning. It's a lot on the planning end, but once you get into it, like I said earlier in this video, it is definitely a very easy way to save a lot because you are not in the store, you don't see something random and decide to pick it up, which is me constantly. <laughs> um, and it just helps you to stay more focused on what you should be buying and you're more intentional about what you buy. So um, I didn't go into this month with a very stable plan. Um, so next month my goal is to really assess my food storage better and really decide what we're going to need. So I'm actually just pulling these grapes off of the vine and I have a salad spinner here I'm putting them all into and I'm gonna rinse, well I'll take this part out, wash them really, really well and then put them in the salad spinner and spin it because it helps to get a lot of the water off the grapes and they tend to last longer in the refrigerator which is of course the goal when you're shopping once a month. And I have a whole video on how to make produce last longer. Um, there's lots and lots of tips and tricks to doing that for sure. And um, lots of ways to make produce last a month or at least two to three weeks, even if you don't get a full month out of it. Um, so I am excited to kind of get back into this. In the summertime, it, there's just so much going on and so that's why I took a break and it was just easier to kind of shop every week. But now that it's winter time, it's not fun to go out all the time. Whenever we, it's snowing and the weather's bad here in central PA, um, so it kind of saves me. And I was gonna talk about a few exceptions when it comes to once a month grocery shopping. So one of them would be events. So I have a family that likes to do a lot of things together. So obviously going shopping for an event is something that I would break my once a month shopping rule for. And another thing would be is if we really needed some um, like greens, like lettuce or some other produce items, I may not purposely make a trip to town to get those things, but I may stop and pick some up on my way somewhere up to somewhere else. Um, a homeschool event or something like that. I'm gonna rinse these just one second. All right, now we're ready to spin them. Um, so those would be the main reasons that I would break my like once a month shopping trip type thing. The other thing is too, is through the times of me doing once a month grocery shopping, I'm not necessarily stuck on doing it all in one day. There are times that the next day I'll run to somewhere that's closer, especially if I do a trip to Costco like this. Um, if I get my things put away and I realize, oh, I probably could use this and this, or just depending on our schedule, sometimes it's easier to do half of a day 
Um, if we do school in the morning with our homeschool, we do the shopping in the afternoon, the next day, school in the morning, and then finish up the shopping the next afternoon. Um, that's another reason that I might do it in more than just one trip. This works so well also to do berries, to dry your berries. So if you have raspberries or strawberries or blueberries, helps them to last a little longer in the refrigerator. All right, I may actually just store these in the salad spinner in the refrigerator because it's a great bowl to store them in. But thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I know that today's video probably is not quite as long as some of my last few videos. I've been trying to get longer videos put together for you all. I just feel like whenever I'm watching YouTube, I enjoy longer videos myself. And so been working on getting my videos quite a bit longer. But either way, thanks for hanging out with me and subscribe. If you're new here, I'd love to hear from you all. Don't forget to check out my loot um, and the link for that in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all in the comments. See you next time.